Hi everyone, this is Mani and welcome back to SK SecOps. Today we will be understanding another important concept in Kubernetes which is service account. In order to understand better, let us consider one of the analogy where you are an employee and you are going to your office. So when you reach your office building at the main entrance gate, the security guard stops you. He asks you to show your identity card. If you show your identity card, you are allowed to enter the office building. If you don't show it, then you are not allowed to go inside. How this simple analogy is related to service accounts, we will see in just few minutes. Let's come to Kubernetes world. Before we understand service accounts in Kubernetes, let's first discuss something very important. Imagine we are in a classroom and your teacher is explaining that a pod contains one or more containers. But what is a container? A container is simply a running application. Now imagine this application wants to get the list of pods that are currently running inside the Kubernetes cluster. The application inside the pod will send a request to the Kubernetes API server saying could you please give me the list of pods but the API server will reply wait who are you I don't know you. So the pod attaches a token with the request and ask again here is my token please give me the list of pods then the api server checks the token and says ha huh, now i understand you are the web app from the default namespace after that api server accepts the request and sends the list of pods back to the application based on the permissions if you understand this flow then learning about service accounts will be very simple. When your pod starts up, Kubernetes will automatically mount one token called service accounts token like JWT token at the path or location inside the container at slash where slash run slash secrets slash Kubernetes dot IO slash service account slash token. Now application in pod makes API call to get the list of pods either in the default or in some namespace. For now to simply understand namespace think like a folder which contains some files. Like this namespace will also have some resources like pods associated with it. Now this pod reads the token file and includes it in HTTP header as bearer token and it sends request to Kubernetes API server to this endpoint. Now API server receives request and extracts token. With the help of this token API server validates by checking this token as is it a valid JWT or not is it signed by kubernetes or not has it expired or not now api server identifies the service account by using this token up to here we have completed the authentication or identity stage next api server checks rbac permissions rbac means role based access control rbac helps us to know who can do what. We will discuss RBAC in upcoming videos and API server will also see what this service account can do. Does it have permissions for specific action like to get the list of pods? If it has permissions, your application will show the list of pods in the form of dashboard. Now how this employee analogy which is on the left is related to the service accounts? Yes, 
how you have shown your identity card to enter into the office building similarly we have a service account token like jwt token to connect to the kubernetes cluster here pods are applications will use this service accounts to connect to the kubernetes clusters and service accounts are mainly responsible for authentication let's also understand how the service account manifest file looks like and how the pod is associated with it for that let me use whiteboard this is the service account dot ml we will see some important highlights within this manifest files as it is service account we should specify kind as service account and i have given the name as my service account under metadata and also specify namespace i named it as skcops hyphen ns so this is the service account manifest file now let's see how the pod is associated with service account for that under spec section of pod specify or add service account name which is my service account that's all for this video i hope you have enjoyed the video if you really like this video click on the like button and if you are watching for the first time subscribe to my youtube channel and also please share with your friends as well thank you so much